back to my channel. This is episode four of Cooking with Jules, and today we're going to be making homemade meatballs, or as we Italians call them, polpette. They are super fun, super easy, super simple, super yummy. So let's go look at the ingredients and get cooking with Jules. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is take whatever big bowl you have and we're going to put the ground beef, the two eggs, a little bit of salt, and the Parmesan cheese in it. Next, we're going to take the bread that's been sitting in the milk and we are going to squeeze the milk out of it. Now, this may look a little bit unsettling and it's gonna feel a little bit weird, but trust me, just make sure your hands are clean and don't skip this step because this bread is actually a key ingredient in our recipe. Oh, oh, oh I regret that entirely. Next up is mixing all of our ingredients together so that we can start making our meatballs. The best way to do this is by hand, so again, just make sure your hands are clean before you do this and you should be fine. We should be washing our hands anyway before we work with any type of food, so yeah. <laughs> When you are done mixing it all nicely, it should look a little something like this. We are going to take one cup of breadcrumbs and pour them into a plate. I like to aim for the middle of the plate, that way when I'm finished making the meatballs, I place them on the outer rim, which just saves me from getting another plate dirty. You know, working smarter, not harder. Anyway, <laughs> It's a pretty standard way to make meatballs. Take some of your meat mixture and roll it around in the breadcrumbs. Obviously, the smaller you make your meatballs, the more you have, and the bigger you make them, the less you have. Usually when I make them, I'll make about 12 or 14, just depends on how big or small I want them, and it also depends what kind of meal you want them for. So when I make them with pasta, I'll do them like a little bit bigger because I like a bigger meatball with pasta versus if you were doing something else, you might want like smaller meatballs. It's totally up to you. A fun fact for you guys, if you do travel to Italy, you most likely won't find the option of spaghetti and meatballs on the menus. And that is because spaghetti and meatballs didn't actually originate from Italy and the pairing of pasta with meatballs is actually an American invention. Traditional Italian meatballs or polpette which is how you say meatball in Italian are separate main courses that are never served with pasta. Pasta is actually considered a first course so meatballs would come after that with like veggies for example. So if you do find spaghetti and meatballs on a menu in Italy, it's pretty much just to satisfy the cravings of a typical American tourist. Alrighty, we are ready to cook our meatballs. We're gonna take the butter, olive oil, and the garlic cloves over medium heat, and we're gonna wait until the butter is completely melted before adding in the meatballs. I added a little bit more olive oil just to make sure the pan is well covered. Next, we are going to place all of our meatballs into the pan and wait a few minutes, let them cook, and then we'll turn them over. Thank you. 
after about four to five minutes of our meatballs cooking, we're gonna turn them over. Next we are going to put in our wine. I use the Quail Oak Chardonnay from Trader Joe's. I find this wine works super well with food. It just gives it such a nice flavor and I would 10 out of 10 recommend it. Next up is the chicken bouillon as well as about half a glass of warm water. Make sure everything is mixed evenly across the pan and we're going to put a lid on it. We are going to let the meatballs cook with the lid on for about 15 to 20 minutes, turning them over once in a while just to make sure that they stay looking good. And once the 15 to 20 minutes are up, your meatballs are ready. So there's a variety of ways you can utilize your meatballs. You can eat them with veggies, you can have pasta, you can do spaghetti and meatballs. There's tons of different options out there. But for us, for tonight, I decided to make some fettuccine with Alfredo sauce. And the recipe that I use for the Alfredo sauce is from Pinterest. And I will link it in my description because it's super easy to make and it is absolutely like the yummiest Alfredo you'll ever have. And it worked perfectly with our meatballs on top. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed making meatballs with me. If you do try out this recipe, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see how yours turns out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the little bell to get notified every single time I post. And I will see you guys next time on episode 5 of Cooking with Food. Today we're gonna be doing, oh, doing. We're gonna be cooking. Why oh, you got a bald spot, right? <laughs> <laughs>